Hello everyone. If you want to view different corners of the Earth in high resolution, you don't need to hop on a plane with binoculars. Instead, you can sit comfortably and watch this video, or try one of the services I'll talk about here. I'll introduce you to the best satellite imagery sources and highlight their advantages and disadvantages. Best of all, most of these services are free to use as long as you have a fast internet connection. Google Earth. The desktop version of Google Earth has many features that the web version lacks, so I recommend downloading the desktop version. One of my favorite features is time travel. You can use a slider to view how a place looked five years ago or more. This makes it easy to examine changes in detail, depending on the map's resolution. Also, remember that the more popular a place is, the more likely it will have detailed imagery. Google Earth provides maps with a resolution of up to 15 meters per pixel with the most detailed images from the Landsat satellite, using 30-meter multispectral imagery. Additionally, Google Earth offers clear satellite images in HD and allows you to view them on both mobile devices and desktop. You can also add notes to mark places you've been and add captions to them, saved in separate layers. Another key advantage, NASA Worldview. NASA Worldview is a service for viewing global satellite images in high quality, especially suited for weather models and meteorological information. It's free to use, and satellite images look well on both desktop and mobile devices. One standout feature is its support for more than 1,000 layers, powered by the Open Layers Library. These layers are great for tracking natural disasters like forest fires, floods, and more. You can also monitor weather conditions like cloud cover and pressure. The EOSDIS WorldView interface offers high-quality images with a resolution of one pixel corresponding to 250 meters of the landscape. However, this resolution isn't enough to view small objects such as houses or roads, particularly in smaller towns or cities. On the plus side, satellite maps are updated regularly. For example, Satellite images of the largest U.S. cities are refreshed several times a day, sometimes within one to two hours. Sentinel Hub With Sentinel Hub, you don't need to install any special software. You can access high-resolution satellite imagery via the Sentinel Hub Playground web platform. While the imagery isn't as detailed as Google Earth's, Sentinel Hub offers more frequent updates every few days, making its data more current and informative. Filters like infrared, vegetation, geological, and agricultural views are available, useful for professional satellite image analysis. This service provides both archived and near real-time images, updated within five days. It's one of the best sources for detailed Earth maps, with data from the Sentinel-2 satellite, offering free HD images. Sentinel Hub is particularly valuable for developers, students, researchers, and academics. It's useful for change analysis, marine monitoring, and polarimetry. Earth Explorer offers free access to satellite and aerial images, sourced mainly from the Landsat 8 satellite. It's ideal for users who want to download images of specific cities or regions. However, the registration process can be tricky, and understanding the site's interface takes time. You need to locate an area, input coordinates, and download images in TIFF format. Although the interface is complex, Earth Explorer provides valuable resources such as historical data and hyperspectral photos from NASA. SkyFi is a paid service, but I highly recommend it for small businesses and individuals who need satellite imagery for research. SkyFi offers access to satellite imagery from all over the world, including hard to reach locations. The platform sources data from more than 80 satellites, allowing you to download images of large areas with streets, buildings, and infrastructure. You can access SkyFi via both its web service and mobile apps for Android and iOS. SkyFi offers high quality images, limited only by the budget you set. You can specify format, resolution, date, and even weather factors like cloud cover. It's also possible to set the number of satellite attempts for capturing the image. That's all for now. I've shared five of the best programs and services for viewing satellite imagery of the Earth. If you know of other services with unique features, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about them.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.